This is a sample lecture for my upcoming course, C Sharp 7 Fundamentals with .NET Core. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments, good or bad. I want to see what you think of the production quality and the content presented. Thank you. In this lecture, we're going to install .NET Core in Linux. Bringing the power and capability of C Sharp and .NET to Linux has been an awesome achievement. I started out in software development in a Linux environment, then later learned C Sharp, so I was pretty excited to see C Sharp come to the Linux platform. This brings amazing development potential. I have a fresh install of Ubuntu 17.10 here, and we're going to install .NET Core on this machine. As I stated before, we'll be using Visual Studio Code for these lessons, so I'll install that first. The easiest way for me to install Visual Studio Code in Linux is just download the newest package from the website. Go to code.visualstudio.com slash download. We want to select the .deb file format. We want to download this file and save it. Now that we know the file's been downloaded, let's open up a terminal. Click on the Ubuntu logo and type in terminal. Now here we'll type in CD downloads. And we can see our archive here. And then we want to type in the following. sudo dpkg-i and then the name of the file. Okay, and it looks like the install went okay, so let's check and see if it's available. And we type in code, and there's Visual Studio Code. Now that we have Visual Studio Code installed, let's install .NET Core. Now for this, we can download it from the website, but we can also add some repositories and manage it with apt-get, which is how I prefer to do it. First, you will need to add the Microsoft product feed. You only need to do this once. Type in the following command. This is a curl command that will download a package to your hard drive. Next, we'll run the following command. Then, we'll need to register the product feed for the version of Linux you are using. There's a full list on the .NET Linux download site. In our case, we're going to use this command. Now, we're ready to install .NET Core. Type in sudo apt-get update. Next, type in sudo apt-get install .NET sdk 2.0.0 and select Y to continue. Now, you may run into this problem as well. It shows the description has failed and it's unable to fetch some archives. So let's go ahead and do the recommended thing and we'll try to run apt-get update or we'll try to fix missing. And we'll try to run it again. And now it installed successfully. I intentionally kept the error in the lecture to show that it doesn't always work the first time. Let's run a quick test app. And we're going to run the example from the .NET Core site. We're going to type in .NET new console dash o hw app. .NET new creates a new application. Console is the type of application we want to create, and dash o hw app sets an output directory for the Hello World app. Now we'll type in cd hw app. Now let's take a look at the program.cs file. Now we're going to use Visual Studio Code to open this, so we'll go to my home folder and find the hwapp folder. And let's open up program.cs. Now you can see we have a basic c -sharp application. We have a program class that's located within the hwapp namespace. 
we have a main method that is a method first called when the app is run. We'll go through this in more detail later in the course. And here we're writing out hello world to the console. So let's type in .NET run to run the application. And our application is run and the output is the string we wanted to output to the console. Installing .NET Core in Linux is a fairly straightforward process, especially if you've done work in Linux before. Later in the course, we're going to go back into Linux and create some projects. For now, let's continue on and learn some C-sharp.